All right, folks, hold on to your seats because we're diving into the weirdest legal controversy you've probably never heard of. Ever wonder what happens when you mix a Kennedy, a dead bear, and Central Park? Well, buckle up because this is one legal roller coaster you're not gonna wanna miss. Welcome back to One Civil Law, where we unravel the legal world's most tangled webs with a touch of snark and a dash of humor. Today, we're unparking a bizarre incident involving Robert F. Kennedy Jr., a bear cub, and the Big Apple. Can you imagine the headline? Kennedy Scion Plant, Dead Bear in Central Park. Sounds like the plot of a twisted comedy, right? Well, apparently it's real. Let's break it down. So let's dive into the scoop. Back in 2014, New Yorkers were baffled when a bear cub was found dead under some brush in Central Park, partially hidden by a bicycle. Fast forward almost a decade and RFK Jr. himself admits in a video while chatting with none other than Roseanne Barr, just to add that extra little bit of strange, that he was the mastermind behind this wild stunt. Picture this, RFK is driving through Hudson Valley when he witnessed a van accident hitting a young bear. Now. Most people would call animal control or at least take a moment to mourn the little guy, but not our RFK Jr. Oh no, he decides to load this roadkill into his van with the intention apparently of turning in to dinner. Talk about dinner plans taking that wild turn. Apparently after a day involving falconry, and yes, I did say falconry, and a lavish dinner at Pete Luger's Steakhouse, RFK Jr. realizes suddenly he can't just leave the bear in his car overnight. So naturally, apparently, he concocts a plan that screams redneck ingenuity. He stages a fake bicycle accident in Central Park because who wouldn't find a bear bike collision hilarious? All right, legal scholars, let's at least try to apply a legal lens to this bizarre set of facts. RFK Jr. claims that in New York State, you can legally collect a bear that is killed if you get a proper tag, which of course, is true enough as far as it goes. However, it probably goes without saying, our buddy RFK Jr. skipped that little step to get the tag. Instead, he chose to create the bizarre public spectacle, which lands us right into the middle of this legal strangeness. First off, New York state law has specific rules about what you can and can't do with roadkill. Yes, you heard that right. There are actual legal guidelines for picking up dead animals. If you happen upon a roadkill bear and think to yourself, hey, free dinner, you're supposed to get what's known as a bear tag from the state. This legal article allows you to keep the bear for personal use. It's a little bit like a hunting license, but with fewer bullets and more bumpers. The law here is pretty straightforward. You would notify the Department of Environmental Conservation or your local law enforcement, get your tag and voila, you're now the proud owner of a legal roadkill bear. But RFK Jr. didn't exactly follow this playbook. Instead, he went rogue, which brings us to the heart of our present legal nightmare. So RFK decides to spice things up by staging the bear bike collision in Central Park. Let's break down why following his lead might not necessarily be the brightest idea from a legal perspective. Flopping a dead bear into the middle of Central Park isn't just weird, it is potentially illegal. Creating a scene that attracts public attention could cause a disturbance that could land you with the charge of public nuisance. In layman's term, it's a little bit like throwing a flash mob that no one wanted. The law also doesn't look kindly on people treating public parks like their own personal trash cans. Leaving a dead bear carcass out in an open field could qualify for illegal dumping or littering laws. Imagine a fine for dropping a candy wrapper. Now, multiply that by a bear and you've got the picture. Even though the bear was apparently already dead, the way RFK Jr. used the animal could also be scrutinized under cruelty statutes. You see, the law has this thing about treating animals, whether living or dead, with respect. Staging an accident scene might not necessarily qualify as the most respectful behavior. That's of course assuming the animal was in fact dead when RFK initially discovered it. So I suppose the million dollar question for today, did RFK Jr. actually commit a crime? Well, this is where things get a bit murky. Of course, first we have to look to his mental state. In legalese, his mens rea, which refers to the intent or knowledge of a wrongdoing. For a lot of crimes, it's not just about what you did, but whether you intend to do an illegal thing. RFK Jr. could, of course, argue this was all in good fun, a prank done wrong. But just a prank, bro, is not actually a legal claim, and the law might see it differently if they consider that his actions were reckless enough to cause public harm. While intent matters, the consequences of actions play a significant role. Causing a public stir in a place like Central Park with your fake accent scene isn't exactly what might be called harmless fun in the eyes of the law. So with this legal background in place, what happens to RFK Jr.? At this point, not much. 
Authorities didn't pursue this case 10 years ago, dropping the investigation apparently at a fairly early stage. Of course, 10 years later, any possible charge would almost certainly be barred by the statute of limitations. So it looks like New York will probably be viewing this whole incident as a misguided stunt rather than a criminal act. All right, legal aficionados, we've taken a wild ride through the twisted saga that is RFK Jr. and his dead bear debacle. We've unraveled the legal chaos, laughed at the absurdity, and pondered deeper implications that are somehow present in this case. But now it's your turn to weigh in. So what do you think? Drop your thoughts, opinions, and legal hot takes in the comment below. We're dying to know your legal perspective on this wild legal story. Until next time, I've been on Civil Law. Remember to keep it on Civil out there.